Hey everyone, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we're doing something that I've been looking forward to. Uh, this will be our first run and gun style versus video with rifles. So today we are going to be using the Winchester Model 1917 versus the also Winchester Pattern 1914. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a run and gun. So you probably can't see it well, but got a couple of clay pigeons out there. They're bright orange. Uh, one's on a tree and one's on a stump. And then to the right of the one on the stump, there's a steel target. And then there's a couple more clay pigeons that aren't visible from this position. What we're going to be doing is there's a berm right here behind me. And we'll be starting on the other side of this berm. May have to make three hits on the steel. Then advance. Make three more hits on the steel from where the broken pallet by the, the laying down tree here is. And make those three hits. Then make take out the two visible um, clay pigeons then advance further up the tree, and then there's two more clay pigeons off to the right that are, again, not really visible from here. I'll be running this with both of these rifles. I've got 25 rounds on me, so, or I will have, I'll have 20 rounds, and I've got a, a replica of a, a, a Gewehr 43 pouch that I'm just using for, you know, keeping my ammo on me. But I've got 20 rounds in pouches, and the guns will be loaded with five rounds. The 1917 does actually hold a sixth shot, but they were loaded with the same clips as the Springfield 03. So, as such, generally you would have it loaded with five shots, not the full six that it can carry. But if I can't make this in ten shots with each rifle, then, you know, I just suck. But uh, I will be timing myself. I have got a uh, stopwatch here. It's just the simple one that you click start and it starts counting and then you click again and it stops and then you can clear it with the other button uh so i'll just click say firing and start going so yeah uh i think we're gonna go ahead and actually start with the 1917 and uh let's just go ahead and do this firing One minute and 11 seconds. I was a little slow to start after clicking, so we'll call it 110. Now for the spring or the, the Winchester P14. All right. Now it is the P14's turn. 110 is the time to beat, and I only had two misses the first go around. So let's see how this goes. Firing.
104 with the added second at the beginning. Uh, I, that's about 103. So in today's battle of 1917 v P14, the 1917 lost. Not by much, mind you. Uh, so it was, the total came out to a um, minute and three seconds to a minute and 10 seconds, only a seven second difference. And that was with having to do a second reload with the 1917 due to two misses. So I figure if I hadn't made those two misses, if I had if I had ran the 1917 as well as I ran this, then it would have probably been neck and neck, honestly. These... Uh, the, the only actual advantage that I would say mechanically is that a 30-06 clip is easier to load than a 303 British clip. But that doesn't change the fact that the, the 1917 was beat today by the P14. So I'm pretty happy with the results of that. I think I ran both guns fairly well for what I was doing, especially with how long it's been since I've done anything like this. So if you guys enjoyed this video... Uh, Make sure to like and leave a comment and uh, and subscribe, please. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I've never said it before, but please subscribe to my channel. I try to make uh, as good of videos as I can for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more like this or this one done again, I might do this in the future and start with the P14 and then switch to the 1917 because uh, you feel like you got a little more pressure to beat your time the second go around. So. Uh, yeah, we might have to do that sometime. Got a lot of ideas of other uh, other cool videos like this to do if you guys would like to see them. Meantime, it's been Thomas with Great Northwest Weaponry, and I will see you next time.